G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, it's been a while since I've done a Banggood product review. And a while back I did a review of this great little clamp type multimeter, the Mustool MT866. Got lots and lots of positive reviews this thing, and it is a really nice little unit. And it does DC amperage output with the clamp as well, which is something they don't all do. So if you want to work on, say, you know, alternator output or any sort of output that's in uh, in DC, this will do it with the clamp. Very, very handy. Now, this costs $52.50. A uh, reasonable amount of money for what you get. It's a quality unit, and I think that's a fair price. That's delivered. It's Australian. You know, I was looking at the latest Banggood offerings, and they had a clamp-type multimeter there for $14. Fourteen dollars. I mean, move this over. This is my old Dick Smith monometer that I used up until I got this new one. And I paid thirty bucks for that a lot years ago. But of course, we're spoiled now. We can buy stuff off the internet way cheaper than you can get it locally, and the quality of a lot of stuff is fantastic. I mean, that's a great, really good unit. So I was looking at their latest stuff. A fourteen dollar. And then DT3266L clamp type multimeter. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be as good as this one, but I thought, what do you get for $14 compared to like this old girl, which I paid like $34? So I said, can you send me one of these and we'll check it out and just do a comparison? I'm curious. So that's what today's video is going to be about. Here's what it looks like on a couple of screen grabs. And here's the box with the unit, which looks, at first sight, <laughs> pretty cool. Now let's crack open the box and see what's in there. Okay, here's what you get. And so far it looks okay. No fancy little vinyl pouch with this one, like the uh, the other one I've got, the must tool. But, you know, shrink wrap, who cares? I mean, I'm don't care whether they come with a pouch or not as long as they do the job so it's all cost cutting so no pouch you save money there here's your leads you don't get uh, any insulators for those and the leads are nowhere near as heavy duty they're only about two-thirds as thick so obviously they're saving money there and you get an operator's manual which looks pretty comprehensive and it's all in good English perfect English so yeah, so far, so good, it's looking good. And uh, yeah, it's a matter now of opening it up, banging some batteries, because you don't get batteries. I mean, you rarely get batteries these days for most of this stuff. And it just takes some some uh, double A's, I think. And uh, yeah, once again, the back is held on with a screw, which is good. It's not one of those clip-on ones that can fall off. So I'll take off the shrink wrap and we'll come in close and have a, a good look at it. Well, first impressions are, it's pretty good. You know, physically, it, it's about the same weight as the, the other one. And everything seems quite good. Not much difference there. You know, all good. One thing I do like about it straight away is they've got the hold function button up here. That's a better place to have it. On this one, you've got to hold it with uh, with one of these buttons here, that one, the middle one here. I just find it easier just to press there. Yeah, I like that. That's a better setup. And this has got a live uh, sniffer function, and I'm pretty sure this has too. I'm pretty sure what that's what that setting there is. So that's good if you want to just check out cables. Screen size is slightly smaller but it's flat this one you get reflections on it and you can probably see it you know that's annoying those bloody reflections that I would have preferred to have a flat screen and I said that in the last review but this is a good should be easy to read flat screen so I'll get some batteries and we'll 
get on with it. This is an unusual setup. The AAA is going a little carrier, and then they then drop in and mate with these contacts here. I've never seen that before. Not a bad way of doing it. It means that you can put the batteries in and take them out very easily without sort of digging around trying to fish them out. So that just goes in there. That clips in. And theoretically it should go. Hmm, clever. Oh, and look, it's going. It's actually going. Cool stuff. So this is the off position here. Yeah, it'd be nice if I had that colour. It's a bit hard to see that little off tag thing. So, yeah, just use your thumb. Yeah, a bit of colour on that. White would be really good. If they coloured that, it'd be a lot better. It's hard to see. Okay, now functionally, this multimeter's got everything that a basic multimeter would have. You've got your resistance, which uh, is the usual setup. Various ranges for that. You've got volts DC. You've got volts AC. You've got live. Now the live setting, you have to use the probes, you can't sniff it with the with the clamp like you can on the must tool, so you've got to actually physically make a contact, which is not as safe as just remote sniffing with the must tool, so must tool is way better in that regard. Now we get up here to the amps, now this will sniff, we know this will definitely sniff AC amps, but the big surprise is when I tried it, this thing also sniffs DC amps, it automatically senses between the AC and the DC and it gives you an AC, uh, a DC amperage sniffing ability so for $13 you can check your car alternator output with this little gadget <laughs> that's something I'd never expected to get for that sort of money I'm very surprised so we'll demonstrate it and you can see it in action Right, first off we'll check AC with the clamp, AC amps. No surprises there, that's what you'd expect to get. Of course you have to measure on one lead, you can't measure on the pair because they'll cancel each other out. So whenever you use these clamps you can only do it over um, one of the wires at a time. Okay. So, that's what I expected. Now we'll go to the DC side, which I didn't expect, not for this sort of money, and we'll, we'll demonstrate that. Right, to demonstrate this, we've got a battery charger, which is going to run a cordless drill that doesn't have any battery pack. It's just running straight off the 12 volt, well, 14 volt uh, battery charger. We should get a reading of DC using the clamp so we'll run the clamp around one of these cables and uh, see what we get. Now the unit will automatically sense between AC and DC so it'll know what it's measuring. In this case it's DC. Let's see what it shows as far as amps being drawn by this unit. your hold function pretty good really I mean I think it's <laughs> for, th for 14 bucks it's phenomenal really I mean I think it's awesome now if you try and read a pair of cables whether it's AC or DC you won't get a reading because they'll just cancel each other out so you have to read the single cable. Now on an alternator the output is a single cable so if you want to take uh, a reading of the vehicle output from the alternator just clamp it around the output and away you go. Piece of cake. 
The beauty of these also is that you're not limited by the 10 amp limit on most of the probes that uh, you can measure amps with on these monometers. You can basically go up to, well, 600 amp with this one. So this one theoretically should be able to uh, measure my welding output on the welding cables on the stick welders. It's actually higher than the mustool, which the mustool only goes to 100. This one goes to 600. So actually, you know, it's got some things the mustool hasn't got. Now one area where the mustool is much better is that it has a four digit display. This only has a three digit, and as you can see there's no decimal point when you're reading high voltages on a high voltage scale, which is up to 600 volt. It's incapable of going below one volt, whereas the mustard will, will go down to a single decimal point. Now I think that's quite important. So in this case, if you're reading small voltages, the must is definitely better. If you were to say read a 1.5 volt battery with this, it would only show one volt, whereas the must would show the correct reading at one point, 1.4. And it also seems to be a bit more accurate at these lower levels. So what do I think of it overall? Well, it's a mixed bag. It's great value for money if you want that DC amperage clamp function. I mean, it's brilliant money for only for money if you want that. Where it falls down is it's only got a three digit display. Now that wouldn't be so bad except that it doesn't give you low ranges for volts um, in either AC or DC. It doesn't in amps, so you can get decimal points in amps on the 20, 20 amp range for instance. But on here you're limited to 600 volts and as such there's no room for that decimal point. If it had a four-digit display like the Mustor has, well then it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a, an issue because it would automatically have enough space for the whole 600 volts plus the decimal point. So that's where it misses out. That's an efficiency. So you know, if you're measuring, say, battery voltage, no, it's not real great. You should definitely have that fourth digit. So you know, you'll be looking for that decimal point for sure. Yeah. You also. This, the display on this is not backlit, whereas on the must tool it is backlit, and that's a good thing if you're working in dark areas. And uh, of course, the must tool's got remote sniffing for live, uh, checking live, you know, household wiring, AC stuff. That's a, a, a much better function than this using the probes business on this one. So overall, I suppose the case of you get what you pay for, and in this case, it's definitely. I think worth spending the extra money for the mustool, but if you're struck for, you know, struck for cash, for ten bucks you're getting exceptional value, I think, except for that decimal point issue. So there you have it, guys. I've been as straightforward and honest with this as I can be, as usual. Uh, it's up to you guys to value it uh, on its merits. For some things it's great, for other things it's mm -hmm, ordinary, ordinary. Okay, that's it from me. Now the link to this product are in the uh, video description and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video you know, and got something out of it and until next time, see you around, cheers.